It's time for way too early 2025 rankings. First up, catchers. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Thursday, October 17th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Chris Towers and taking a closer look at Chris's top 12 catcher rankings heading into 2025. Chris, I'll throw these at you in uh, groups of four. And the first group, no surprise, starts with William Contreras, who is number one, followed by Adley Rutschman, Cal Raleigh, and Salvador Perez. Contreras has finished as the number one catcher two years in a row, so there's no surprise there. Adley Rutschman's season seems like it was basically dera derailed by a hand injury that he suffered in late June. Uh, but it seems like, you know, no worries there. You still have him ranked as the number two catcher for next season. I, I can't say there are no worries. Right, we're assuming that the gigantic second half decline was a result of the hand injury, and it seems like a safe assumption. There's two problems with that one is just it's not like Adley Rushman has like talked about it and said, Oh, yeah, that was why I was so bad in the second half. The other one is that just happens to catchers, and you know, now that we've seen that happen to Adley Rushman, it, it, it's concrete. We can say, Oh, yeah, the same thing could happen to any catcher, and, and that. You can make a case that that's a reason not to make William Contreras. He should be the number one catcher, but maybe shouldn't be reached for two rounds ahead of Adley Rutschman. Like there are so many ways things can go wrong for every catcher that that's a that's a reasonable argument. But in Rutschman's case, he was so good his first two seasons. He was so good before that hand injury. It just feels like a really easy explanation for why this guy who was not even ascending, he had ascended to the heights for why he struggled so much in the second half. Yeah. Just to put that in perspective through June 27th, Adley Rutschman was batting 300 with 15 home runs and an 830 OPS from June 28th on. He hit 189 with four home runs and a 559 OPS. So it just seems clear as day that that hand injury really did affect Adley Rutschman from that point forward. Uh, catchers number five through eight heading into next season. You have Will Smith, Yiner Diaz, Shea Langoliers, and JT Real Muto. So how the mighty have fallen. We have Real Muto down here at number eight uh, heading into next year. And the steals completely fell off. He went from 16 in 2023 down to just two steals uh, this past season. He also had a meniscus surgery mm -hmm. mid-season. So Chris, what do you think is more likely that Real Muto gets back to stealing double-digit bases? or this is just legitimately part of the decline at like 34 years old. I think it's reasonable to expect something like 10 stolen bases from JT Romuto. I, I think it's probably unreasonable to expect 21 like he had in 2022, certainly. And the biggest thing for me is if you look at the, the splits, even before the injury, which happened on May 4th, he played another month and then had surgery, but he clearly wasn't the same guy. Even before that though, from the start of the season through May 4th, he only had three stolen base attempts. He was one for two. That comes out to about a 15 attempt pace. You think maybe he's a 75% stolen base guy. You could get to 10 steals, 11 steals there. That seems reasonable. I, I don't think we should expect him to be a huge standout there. I don't think we should expect him to be a huge playing time standout anymore uh, heading into his age 34 season. So I just, I think there are a lot of ways things can go wrong for JT Romuto. And to highlight that point, you know, you said we were breaking it up into four, right? Yiner, D, uh, Will Smith, Yiner Diaz, Shea Langoliers, JT Romuto. There's a gap between Yiner Diaz at six and Shea Langoliers at seven. So JT Romuto is on the wrong side of the gap. I think there are six definite difference making catchers. And I think JT Romuto is on the outside of that group. Let's wrap up with the final four of your top 12. Wilson Contreras, Austin Wells, Francisco Alvarez, and Logan Ohapi. Chris, talk to me about the two New York catchers here because uh, Austin Wells got mm -hmm. off to a slow start, then really picked things up in the second half. Uh, and, and it looks like, you know, could have a prominent spot in the Yankees order uh, heading into next season as well. Francisco Alvarez, Kind of the opposite. He had the, the breakout rookie season. He hit 25 home runs. And then this year, took a huge step back, maybe due to injury. Talk to me about the uh, the New York catchers. So the thing with Alvarez is the rookie season was 
really solid from a power perspective. That's kind of all he did, but he yeah. he hit for a lot of power. The underlying skill set, though, didn't quite match it up. And then he goes out in 2024, just doesn't hit for power at all in a way that the underlying skill set also suggested was real. So it just, if you look at the skill set, how hard he hits the ball, the strikeout rate, what direction he hits the ball, all that stuff. 2023 didn't really look legitimate in that regard. He kind of overperformed. And then 2024, he takes this huge step back. He had the thumb injury. I'm, I'm willing to account for all that. He's 22 years old. There is room for growth. But I've just been very underwhelmed by what we've seen from Francisco Alvarez. Austin Wells, on the other hand, he's a left-handed batter in Yankee Stadium who un drastically underperformed his expected stats. He had a 341 X Woba this season. I think it was like a 315 actual mark. He's one of the biggest underperformers in baseball. I have concerns about whether he'll be able to hit lefties. I have some concerns about the playing time and the volume there. But when you're talking about the catcher position, I'm trying to buy standout skills. I think Austin Wells has 25 homer upside. Someone I expect to at least live up to his underlying skills in 2025 and beyond, if not overperform them with that short porch in right field. Again, that is Austin Wells. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again on Saturday. Bye-bye.